Welcome to Thankful Days in November, day number six, Hebrews 13, 15. Hebrews 13, verse 15 says, Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that confess his name. A couple important things in that verse. One, it says to continually give him a sacrifice of praise, right? So continually means all the time. So not just in the morning when you wake up, not just in the evening when you go to bed, but continually all day long. I also love that it says a sacrifice of praise and that's kind of weird because like sacrifice is usually something that we give up and then praise is usually like worshiping, right? So it's kind of funny to have those two words, you know, in there together. But what I take away from that is that, you know, we don't just want to praise him when things are good, right? Sometimes, I mean, we get angry at God when things don't go our way or it seems like he's moved far away or that he's not listening when we pray. I mean, how many of you have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed for something and it doesn't happen, right? But God always answers our prayers three ways. Yes, no, and wait. So a lot of times I know I've been in the waiting mode and during that time it's important to still just keep praising him for who he is and not for what he does. And then I like this commentary. It says, the sacrifice is to be offered continually. Our praise of God is not to be based on our opinion of his job performance. Praise cannot be treated as a reward we give God for his blessing upon us. Isaiah 29, 13 says, These people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Real praise continues regardless of circumstances. It flows continually from a worshiping heart in good times and bad times, Acts 16, 23, 25. And the sacrifice of praise comes from a humble heart that has been purified by fire. It rises from a spirit that has chosen to honor God in spite of the pain that life is causing. But I know when God does get us through hard times, it makes worshiping Him then even more sweeter because you are just so thankful and grateful for all He has gotten you through. So I hope today that you have a continual praise of thanksgiving on your lips and that you just give Him all the praise in the good times and the bad times and that you worship Him for who He is regardless of your circumstances. Have a thankful day and I'll see you back here tomorrow. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. You can contact me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you have a blessed day living for Him.